Eye of newt and toe of frog, wool of bat and tongue of dog. Allow me to introduce my newest pattern, the wool of bat mitts. These mitts are inspired by a mixture of Victorian mitts, 1930s gloves with like the fancy gauntlet style cuffs, and of course, bat wings. They're a cuff up knit mitt and use about 100 meters of fingering weight wool and knit up super fast. Like the longest part is probably casting on and doing the first few rows of the cuff. So once you get past that, it's smooth sailing. I'm really proud of these. So if you would like to knit it, you can find the link to the pattern in the description. So for the release of this, I wanted to take you behind the scenes to look at the photo shoot that I set up for these mitts, as well as share how I made the magic book insert, which can easily be used for Halloween decorations. So let's jump on in. I stained some A3 paper with tea and coffee grounds, then measured and cut the page to the size of the book. I mocked up what I wanted the pages to look like in Illustrator, and then sketched it out on the paper before going over it in pen. Along with the bat drawing and the wheel of the year, I used dot versions of the alchemic symbols for the elements in the corners, and lorem ipsum for the big chunks of writing. If you don't know what lorem ipsum is, it's a filler text based off of a Latin text piece from 45 BC that was reworked in the 1500s to be a placeholder text in printing. I used watercolor to add some extra weathering and ink spots. I gathered various bits and pieces from around my house that I thought would be useful for the setup. I generally try to keep to a rough color scheme, although this one sort of had two going on with the warm tones and then the gray scale, but you can always adjust your colors later if need be. It can also help to have a narrative or theme in mind when setting everything up and taking your photos. For the backdrop, I wanted to keep it pretty plain since I had so much going on in the props and used some black velveteen. Okay, I'm sitting right next to the light so it's a little bright on this side, but I have got my shirt on for filming and um, obviously I use this camera for filming the video bits. So I will shoot those first and then I'll show you, I'll swap to probably filming on my DSLR camera and show you how I take the photos because this camera connects to my phone so that I can see what I'm filming or what I'm taking a photo of, make minor adjustments and shoot by using my phone as a clicker. So it just makes it easier for self shoots. All right, let's jump into the filming. I desaturated and upped the contrast in post as a simple way to have a more harmonious color palette.
that is it for this project. Unless you decide to knit these. And so if you are interested in knitting this pattern, you can find the links in the description below. And of course, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to join along in the rest of 13 projects of Halloween. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you soon for project number nine. Bye!